Mayor Eric Adams held his summit this weekend at Gracie Manage, uh, Mansion along with city leaders to come up with ways to combat the crime that we're seeing an uptick in underground on the subway system. But all of these initiatives to launch a subway plan to crack down on mental health issues to make sure homeless have the resources they need and to put more police out on the platforms and in the subways comes on the heels of even more subway incidents that we've been reporting over the weekend. Two new reports we want to tell you about right away here this morning. A 14 year old girl is now a victim of subway violence. Police say the teen was stabbed in the chest during a fight on a southbound number one train near the 191st Subway Street station in Manhattan around 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon. According to police, the victim had been involved in a dispute before the attack with two others who were also believed to be teenage girls. The victim was taken to a hospital for treatment. No arrests have been made. Police also investigating an unprovoked subway attack that happened around 9.45 last night. According to police, a 62-year-old man was punched in the back of the head. It happened on the four-train platform at 149th Street and Grand Concourse. The victim fell onto the tracks and refused medical treatment. Police say the suspect is a 21-year-old Bronx man. He's been charged with reckless endangerment, assault, and harassment. So these incidents happening a day after the head of the MTA, Governor Hochul, Mayor Adams, and Police Commissioner Sewell announced a new subway safety plan. So far this year, police have investigated nine homicides in the subways, including four in the last few weeks. Under this initiative, the NYPD and MTA will increase officer presence on platforms by 1,200 additional overtime officer shifts each day. Riders will see officers in at least 300 stations during peak hours. Plus, the MTA will place unarmed guards to increase security and stop fare beaters. We know people want to see police officers. You can hear and see the exhalation when people see a police officer enter the train, ride the train, and are on the platform to assist them when needed. Mayor Adams also took to Twitter to say the city is investing in mental health services, more officers in the subways, and more affordable housing. He also posted pictures of himself riding the subway last night. So we know the details of the safety plan. Also, the plan promises to launch two new treatment centers for the homeless with severe mental illness.